One second. Ah. If only it were that easy. Forensics case number six, illuminating luminol. Contrary to what many crime shows might lead you to believe, luminol isn't a magic potion that can reveal all the hidden clues of the crime scene. It can, however, illuminate hidden traces of blood, even after, say, it's been mopped up by a perpetrator. It does this by something called chemiluminescence, which is also the process that makes fireflies and glow sticks light up. Luminol reacts with molecules in the blood, forcing them to give off energy in the form of a bluish glow. It's a pretty handy tool, but it does have limitations. Let's shed some light on Luminol with forensic instructor and owner of Black and White Forensics, John Black. The difficulty with, with Luminol is that it's, it's not visible in ambient light conditions. You have to have very dark conditions to actually see it. And for that reason, it's also difficult to photograph. Uh, I've seen several episodes of these forensic science type shows where they will go in and spray an area with luminol or something like luminol. And even in ambient light conditions, like we have here today, they're still seeing the blue glow quite visibly, which again is not realistic. So as you can see, luminol does have limitations, and unlike on television where it's depicted to work wherever and whenever you spray it, it does require specific conditions to do its job. But when it's used correctly, it's yet another tool in a forensic examiner's arsenal. So when it comes to luminol and what you see on TV, it's probably forensics. so take it very lightly.